morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is a Goodwill and a Salvation Army thrift haul video. Now, um, these were two small thrift hauls, so I decided to combine them together. Before I get into the haul, I just wanted to say um, Merry Christmas to all of you and a Happy New Year. Uh, I hope 2024 is amazing for each and every one of you. All right, my friends, let us get started. I will start with Salvation Army first. Um, unfortunately, they had a 50% off everything in the store today, but I was not able to go because I'm trying to make sauce and meatballs and lasagna and all kinds of stuff for Christmas. So here I am cooking and filming videos. <laughs> Alrighty, so I spent, where's my receipt? Here it is, $29.42. $29.42. All right, I'm going to start with uh, these. I'm going to take them right out of the bag. These are really pretty. I got these very pretty beaded napkin rings. As you can see, it's a set of four. And I just thought they were so, so pretty. You know, if you're just having a very small gathering, um, they're beautiful. So I picked up those. I don't, I don't pick up napkin rings very often, but I thought those were pretty, um, especially for holidays. So that's why I got them. I also got this. Um, I just liked the actual wreath itself. This comes right out. So really, I believe you can hang it up like this or you can put it on a table like this. Um, what I would like to do with it is put um, like a bird nest in here and some little florals and a bird. I think that would look awesome for spring. So that was the reason I picked it up. I had a couple different ideas. Of course, if somebody likes it as is and wants to buy it, that's perfectly okay too. So I got that. Let me move these flowers out of the way. And then I got this to upcycle. Um, a true love story never ends. Well, that's a crock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, um, this originally came from Hobby Lobby and was $25. Holy shiznit. Anyways, I will be doing an upcycle um, on this piece. <laughs> okay. Next, uh, this item was just um, a personal thing for me. I can remember my grandmother having a very similar glass in her cupboard, and that is why I purchased this. So it is a boxer, if I'm not mistaken, and his name is Willie. What up, Willie? How you doing? Yes. Um, the, it's not marked. I don't know who makes it, but I do remember Grandma having this in her cupboard, and that is the reason I purchased it, because of the memories. I have a runny nose today. My sinuses are a hot mess. This weather is up and down and all over the place. So, uh, then I got this pretty silver plated um, bowl. It's made by Oneida. It's got like an oil slick uh, look to it, but um, I'm sure, I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, but I just thought it was so pretty. I love it. So I picked that up. Um, I got this pretty little uh, shell dish. Uh, it could be used for anything. I just thought it was very pretty and it is hand painted. And it was made in occupied Japan. 
So I picked that pretty little dish up. I also got this. This is a beautiful milk glass um, footed, or yeah, not footed, uh, pedestal dish. Look how pretty that is. I love that design. This would look beautiful. Um, you could do like, uh, put a, a candle ring on here with a pillar candle. I mean, it's just so pretty and white goes with everything. You could use it for any um, holiday or season. Um, it does have a hairline right here. Um, but it's nothing that's going to uh, compromise um, using it. That's why I, I still bought it anyway. Um, and like I said, it's not marked. I don't know if it's um, Imperial Glass, Westmoreland. I'm really not sure. I did not look it up, but nonetheless, it is. A, it reminds me kind of a uh, of a snowflake as well. Very very pretty piece, in my opinion. I also got this beautiful cranberry swirl bud vase with the little crimped edging on the top. Very, very pretty, delicate, love the color. And this is actual cranberry glass. It's not flashed on color. The glass is actually cranberry. And then I also got these. These are very pretty as well. Mercury glass uh, candlesticks. How pretty are these? Now, the person was very overzealous with their candle wax. <laughs> um, it was all over here, and I tried to get as much of it off as I could. Um, but I would suggest using bobeches on here to catch the candle drips so that you wouldn't have to constantly um, clean the wax off of these. Or... Even better, if you have a pair of Lucite candles, like the clear ones with the gold flex or silver flex. OMG, stunning. Those would be stunning in here. So, I love those. Ooh, it's warm in here because I have the oven on and now I'm hot flashing. Pardon me, folks. I got this vintage Taiwan Santa. Now, if you look up here, I have him right there. Mine does not work, however. This one um, plays music, but he doesn't um, shake the bell. Um, I, put, I did put batteries in here. Let me see, where's the... So, but unfortunately, he was supposed to walk as well and ring the bell. But so far, it's just music. But I thought he was very cute, and I had to pick him up. He's a little cutie. Ooh, you guys, this is a bad one. Sorry. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, next I got this uh, very awesome shoehorn. You don't come along these nice long ones uh, very often anymore. I know my dad had a couple of these. Saves on your back bending over trying to get your shoes on. So I had to pick that up. I thought it was very cool. Useful things. They're always good to pick up. Um, I found this, and I would love to do something with it. Look at this enamel ladle, black and white. It does have a lot of wear on it, but who cares? It's vintage, and it's a little crusty, and I love it. Very cool. Okay, um, I also got this box. Uh, these I'm going to keep for myself for crafting. Um, this box of uh, small little uh, Christmas ornaments. 
Um, I, I struggle for, for small ones, and actually I would like some smaller than these. Um, I'm going to have to look online, you know, for uh, when I do my assemblages and stuff to see if I can find some. Um, then I got this, this pretty little uh, table runner. Actually, it's a towel. It's actually a towel, but it's 100% cotton. And I thought it would be so pretty um, as a runner on, on the table. So you could use it for either, but I would hate to get it dirty. <laughs> so that's why I thought a runner would be a great idea for that. So I picked up that. And I found this really cool uh, flag, brand new in the bag. Let me open it so I can show you guys. Wait a minute, that's not a flag. What is it? It's got, hold on, what is this? Okay, so it goes. What is this, you guys? It apparently goes like this. It folds in half and you do it up. I am not sure what the heck this is. <laughs> I don't know. Does it? Oh, it's a mailbox cover. It's a mailbox cover. Oh, well, how cool. That's cute. Okay. Yeah. Very cool idea. I thought it was a little decorative flag. Well, dang. <laughs> I don't have that kind of mailbox, so. But it's very cute. Okay, well, the bag doesn't want to cooperate, so we'll just stick it down there. I also got some, a bunch of ornaments, guys. Um, I got two of these tassel ornaments, which I thought were kind of pretty. Got those, and then I got this pretty red one with the beads. I don't know why this one does not want to lay down. It does not want to lay down, but anyways. So I got those. I got this for my daughter, because she puts Disney ornaments on her tree. <laughs> Look at it, Donald. <laughs> he wrapped his own self up. <laughs> uh, I got this little guy for assemblages. He's actually, I almost bit my tongue. Did you hear that? <laughs> um, he's actually a candle holder, but I got him to use in assemblages. Same with this little guy. <laughs> and then I got this sun catcher. I got this uh, Santa face plastic one that could be used in a wreath or something. I got this. Little trolley. I love this. This is going to be for an assemblage as well. This metal, uh, metal house. How cute is that? I love this. I tried to find more of them, but I still got the price on here. Who made this? $19.99 Hallmark. So I got that. Oh my gosh, where do you guys see these ornaments? Okay, clown alert. Clown alert. 
<laughs> Look how cute. Oh boy, these are like from the 60s. I got those two. Um, I got this um, goose or duck. She needs eyes. I do have googly eyes that I can put on there. <laughs> then I got this elephant. He needs another eye as well. No problemo, I have them. Uh, I think this is, this. look, it still has tinsel on it. I believe this is a hippo. <laughs> In a tutu. <laughs> we have a, I think it's a lion. <laughs> We've got a mouse. Got something on there. I'm sure that'll come off. He's cute. Ah! We have, I think he's supposed to be an elf. <laughs> come here. I got this vintage plastic. It looks, reminds me of like a lantern or something ornament. What I found you guys spun cotton head with the the vintage glitter I have um, little pieces over here in my with my putts houses of people um, like this so he'll go over there I got another lion I got a snowman. A kitty cat. A little girl. And another lion wearing a top hat. <laughs> Yes, so I got all of those amazing vintage ornaments. So now we are going to move on to Goodwill. Now, the reason that this, well, Santa had a little too much eggnog and fell over. So um, the reason that this is a very small Goodwill haul is because Against my better judgment, I did stop in on a Monday um, to see what they had. And uh, I told myself I would only buy stuff with the 50% off color tag. But of course, you know me, if I see something and I really like it, I'm going to buy it. So that's what happened there. I'm not going to tell you what I spent till we get to the end of the video. All right, we will start off with this amazing Lucite. Oh my gosh, this was, I don't recall this being broken when I bought it. This beautiful blue Lucite. Um, it has the date in uh, Roman numerals. What good are Roman numerals? M-C-M-L-X-I-X. -X. Um, so here it is. And unfortunately, this piece was broken and I didn't even see that. How do you not see that? I don't know. I'm kind of PO'd about that. I wonder if that happened in transport because I certainly do not remember seeing that like that. But anywho, it is what it is. Um, I then got, these are adorable. I love these little salt and pepper shakers. Look how cute. Absolutely adorable. There's where your salt and pepper come out of. I just thought they were so cute. 
They're playing on the other side. They have, uh, they're made in Japan. They've got cork stoppers. So I got those. Got this awesome brass, whoops, <laughs> brass bell. Looks like a bell from a dance. I mean, a southern bell, so to speak. A little play on words there. Um, I don't see, I don't see any markings on here, so I don't know where it's made, but I just thought she was really cool. She has little ringlets. <laughs> um, I also got, this is a genuine Hummel. And they sell for a pretty decent price um, on eBay um, still. I mean, um, look how cute. Perfect condition. There is the Hummel, and then there is the mark on the bottom. I I looked at it, and I'm like, you know, that kind of looks like an actual Hummel, and sure enough, it was. Um, so I did I did pick that up. I also got this. Um, this is a vintage. Um, this is a New York City uh, little cedar box. I love the smell of cedar. It is in fabulous condition. It does have, I don't know what the heck happened here, but. So I picked up that piece. Um, I got this. This is, I believe it's a put, well, it reminds me of a Jack in the Pulpit, but whether or not it's considered that, I don't know. Um, it's this beautiful, I'm going to call it a candy dish, an amethyst color. It's beautiful. It's got the paneling design. It isn't marked, so I don't know who makes it, but I thought that was beautiful. I love the color on that. Now, I do know who makes this. This is a Fenton Bell in that beautiful ice blue, and it has the strawberry pattern on it. And it is in excellent condition. Um, I was just looking to see if it said Fenton. Nope, so this probably had a sticker on it at some point. But that's pretty as well. I also got... This, this is Fenton, uh, hand-painted by D. Hill. This beautiful satin glass. Look at that. Ooh-wee. <laughs> and it has the flowers on the other side as well. And there is the signature. Yeah, so I wasn't going to leave this until the next day. So I got it. Okay, then I got a, the set of four Hazel Atlas mugs. Love the color on these. And guys, they're in fabulous condition. There is your Hazel Atlas mark. And, um, I mean, they do have to be cleaned. They're a little bit, there's some schmutz on there. You know what I'm saying? But they're in fabulous, fabulous condition, y'all. The paint's really good. Really, really good. Yeah, so, yeah, that was a given. I was picking those up for sure. Um, I got myself uh, two more pairs of these uh, fleece-lined um, leggings. Um, I bought a couple pair um, quite a while back, and they finally got more in, so I grabbed myself two more pairs 
They're $5.99 a pair, so heck yeah. And they're very comfy, so. I also found a brand new um, twin microfiber sheet set. <clears throat> I guess it was originally from Family Dollar. Um, but I thought, why not for a little, uh, for a little kid's room? It's got, you know, it's got the little animals on there. So I thought those were cute. And I also found a vintage, um, flat sheet. It's in excellent condition. I believe it's for a full-size bed. This is Dan River, no iron, muslin, 50% cotton. Um, yes, this is for a double bed or full-size bed. And like I said, um, it's in fantastic uh, condition. So you could pair this with um, a white fitted sheet or a yellow one, you know, whatever. I love vintage sheets. Okay, and I got just a couple a couple more things, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, I purchased this to do something with this plain, uh, it reminds me of a treasure chest. Um, so I figure I will do something with this. I may may do something um, perhaps nautical with it. I just thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. And then I got this bag of vintage goodies. So I haven't, yet, I have not yet looked through here. So I'm gonna look at it with all of you and see what we got in here. So first we have um, Noel plastic canvas that someone made. Look how cute it is. Very nice. All right, so that was in there. <laughs> we got this cute little mouse. He's got cheese. <laughs> We have another um, flocked mouse. He's looking a little petrified with that eyeball. <laughs> um, clown alert. We got a little beaded clown. How cute is he? We have a beaded person. Looks to be like an elf, perhaps. We have a little wood snowman, but he's missing his hat. We have a jingle bell with a mouse on top. We have a soldier. I think maybe this is Santa Claus. These are pretty. Look at these. Oh, this has all kinds of fuzzy uh, stuff stuck on it. Um, this is another clown. Lots of beaded things in here. We've got a uh, candy cane. Another clown with the balloons.
I guess this is a mouse. <laughs> Bells. Oh, these, I love these. These are old. I love these. These are uh, porcelain or ceramic little mice. These I will uh, keep for assemblages. This is, I think this might be, what does this say? I don't know, I can't make it out. But that's a little ceramic mouse. It does have a label on the bottom, but I can't make it out. <laughs> she has some seriously large ears, okay? Here's another one. And then in here is a plastic manger or nativity. Hold on, guys. Let me pull it out of here. Okay, so we have, these are not marked either. We have Mary and Joseph. Baby Jesus. We have the wise men. The three wise men. Um, I believe that's the shepherd, perhaps. And then it comes with four sheep. Oops. Four sheep. You know, those got to be old. I wish there was a maker's mark on them. I'm going to have to do a Google uh, lens search and see if I can come up with something. But yeah, so I got all of those in that bag. So heck yeah. I mean, those are great ornaments. So what did I spend for this stuff on a non-senior day? $68.34. Sixty-eight thirty-four. Hey, it is what it is, right? Okay, that is going to do it for this thrift haul, guys. Um, again, um, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And I would like to thank everyone who sent me beautiful Christmas cards. I, I appreciate you so much. Sadly, I did not uh, send Christmas cards this year. Um... Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Um, this year, I just couldn't find the time. But um, thank you to everyone that took, that took the time to send me a Christmas card. Uh, it means the world to me. All right, guys, I have one more video that I'm going to film. So I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Ha <laughs> ha